caution. Low synchronization. Oh, we, yeah, we need some synchrosine. We really need some synchrosine. Yes. What's up, everybody? My name is Coalfire. Strain level decreased. And welcome back to Observer. So we are exactly where we left off last time. We just got out of... Um, what was his name? Amir Novak's head. Nobody got him in prison. Ethanol suit and wa soot and water. Jesus, that's just carbon and alcohol. All right. The wedding tattoo on his left hand. Oh, that's cool. I he joked about that. Find the woman I'm looking for. Perfect. Yeah, we never really took a look at him last time. Um, Substance 45F again. That's the stuff that was in uh, supposedly our son's apartment. And then we've got more gashes. The cutting pattern matches the one from the yeah. previous. And they still look like claws. But we did see that synchrosine. I will take that. Synchrosine yeah. collected. All right. Is that a pacemaker? The only thing that was keeping him by. Artificial heart valve. Overclocking detect. <laughs> In the future, you can overclock your, your heart valve. The voice box implant. Not uncommon among longtime feed addicts. All right, can I look at the other? Oh, yeah, that was his. Okay, this showed up in bio. Is that some feed? Legal sedative. Substance 31A. 22 gram. Illegal sedative. Oh. Is that hair? Some strange looking hair. Not human. Not animal. You say animal like humans aren't animals. Alright. So. Yeah, I figured we would just keep looking around the apartment. Um, but we're st we're still trying to find Helen Novak. Is this another yeah holographic frame? What's it show? Oh, well, well. You must be Helen. What else are we hiding in here? Didn't we see a woman who had like tech dreadlocks in the opening? Oh, Jesus. Hmm, I don't know. It's always kind of sad to see shit like that after the fact. You know, I mean, unless Helen is dead as well. All right. Anything interesting going on in here, Amir? Uh, oh, there's another picture frame. Um, sorry, I'm getting the controls again. That's the tattoo shop outside. Is that where you got your ink done? Or at least... Some of it. Some of it said it was done in prison. Oh, that's cool. It's like a um, a folding bed of computers. Work with Chiron. For those who want to read it. Oh, this is a long one. There we go. Emails showing again. First off... As your attending tattoo artist, I must advise you stop sending me these messages. If you think you have a problem, come see me at the shop. Secondly, the piece on your neck was healing just fine the last time I saw it. The accelerant worked, and if it really is, as you claim, getting all messy, it most likely has something to do with your incessant scratching and tampering. For the last time, leave it alone. Drop by for a checkup if you want, but don't bore me with your petty anxieties. I'm not a psychologist. Jay. The last batch you brought in was particularly corrupted. I've managed to salvage most of it, but like I said before, you might have to give the decryption tools some more time to break through their scramblers. If we were able to keep up this arrangement, you need to deliver on your end. This is sensitive data. Each distorted line of code means hours of additional work, and my time is very precious. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The software is undetectable. The only way you're getting caught is if someone catches you physically interacting with the workstation. I know you're scared, 
and I am well aware of the risk this situation puts you in, but it's precisely what I'm paying you for. A. Who are these people? Sorry, Hella. I know we go back a ways, but I can't really help you this time. I really wish I could, but even putting aside Amir's ongoing health issues, the higher-ups have enforced a strict hiring policy. No C-class citizens, and especially no ex-cons. I know Amir's not a bad guy and he deserves another shot, but there really is no way I can get around these asinine regulations. Again, I'm really sorry. If there's any way I can help out, let me know. Take care. Aneta. That's f one of the first times we've gotten a name so far. Okay, CV. Amir, no- oh, yeah. May 29th. So you are, what, 29 years old? Team player. Human resource management. <laughs> Conflict resolution. Resilient to extreme stress. Wow. You've never held a job longer than a year. Huh. Thing. Oh, there's the game again. All right. So it looks like they're into some shady shit, which I feel would go without saying, considering the state that he's in. But I don't know. I don't know. So that picture makes me think we should be heading out to the uh, the tattoo parlor. And there might be some clues going on out there. Leaving the crime scene. Pursuing the lead. The victim's wife could still be in the building. Maybe the neighbors know something. Oh, maybe we should talk to them. What up, what up, 103? KPD. I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. Hmm. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But... Judging the by courtyard. the footsteps, yeah. I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Yeah. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. Yeah, can I just... Can I leave? <laughs> uh, the woman. What about the girl? He sounds oh, she, like the same voice actor trooper. doing a different voice. Worked double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains <laughs> the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect. I guess. Were those emails in reference to her? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. And then again, ain't we all? <laughs> yeah, man. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but... He's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Little jaundice. Do. How do you know that? What, the dealie? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. Yeah, we already know that. I tell he's the goddamn postman. <laughs> Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd Ooh. say that's pretty much it. Animals. Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, eh, <laughs> lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. Janus isn't all there. 
<laughs> That's new. Yeah, I I'm going down to the what was it, the tattoo parlor, and our our friend, the talking TV. Eh. All right, so what? It was down the stairs. Was it this door? Hey, you there! Come here, quick! What? What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? Don't know Too yet. Early to tell. I'm looking into it right now. Looking into it? Are you out of your mind? We might all be infected. You don't know that. Best thing we can do is yeah, stay dude. calm and and let them come and slaughter us. I won't let them take me. I won't. Okay. Please don't off yourself, dude. I didn't. I didn't say anything. I said we don't know. Oh, people can be the cray-cray. Um, I feel like I should try the other door. Yeah, there's the tattoo shop. So... Oh, that's open. I meant to try this one. Oh! We're right here. What's up, what's up, tattoo shop? Um... Oh, Jesus, look at this door. Oh, that's not anything? That's not just fucking peeling paint. That's the goddamn claw marks. Um, can I scan the birds? Boids. Boids. Hello, Boids. Whoa. You guys are everywhere. Let's, uh, try to keep you out of here. Yep. Yep. There we go. What the fuck was that? Um... Anything uh, scannable in here? Cash register. No match found. Unregistered pre-war components detected. Oh, okay. I suppose we should just. Alright, well, that wasn't, um... Oh, there's a mirror right there. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. It's a fingerprint and a skull at the same time. Is this, like, an animated tattoo? Why is, like, one broken off and often... I do like tattoos like that. That's really cool. Whoa. <laughs> Evil bunny rabbits. That's kind of cool. Not my style, but I like it. Okay, sick tats. <laughs> hey man, I saw some of the work you've done on my friend Dave. I gotta tell you, that's some seriously wicked ink. I gotta get me some of that. I was uh, thinking to do an original design. Maybe a skull with flames. <laughs> so original, man. But get this, the flames are like animated and forming like a spider's web on my elbow. I know, pretty out there. But with your talent and my input, it ain't no thing. So like, drop me a line whenever you can squeeze me in. I'm good for the money too. I mean, I'm a bit short on cash, but take nutrient stamps, right? Again, love your work, man. Dope ass ink. It's flaming skulls and elbow spider webs. Hello? I think I got the right address. This is not, in fact, the Jacked Ink Tattoo Parlor. Please disregard this message. But if you are who I think you are, I was told by one of your former clients about your special line of tattoos. The high-end kind. If you catch my drift, my son would very much like to get one of those. In fact, he needs to get one immediately. I know it's expensive, but I'm sure you can come to an agreement. 
Please contact me as soon as you read this. What is this last one? I know you told me not to contact you again. I deleted all your message history, just like you asked. I only wanted to thank you once again for the work you've done on my wife. The tattoo turned out to be a thing of beauty. She literally cannot imagine life without it. You're a real lifesaver. Rest assured, I'll have the rest of the money delivered by the end of the week. There's something else going on here. And the fact that the the guy said the kid needed a high-end tattoo and thank you for the wife or the, the work that I've done on, or that they've done on his wife. Are these like actual prosthetics? That looks like an actual prosthesis. This, he, I really doubt that this is all the fucking ink shop is doing. These are really gorgeous tattoos though. Okay. Um. That's not creepy at all. Oh, that's cool. Do you like change back and forth between augmented and not? <laughs> They're redone like famous paintings. Um. There's all the ink. Oh, is that Helena? That's fucking you really off today. <laughs> Poor Helena. Lazarski, six five six two one oh. We have a third victim. Time of death about an hour ago. Starting forensic analysis. I really like this music. Um you were stabbed. Multiple puncture wounds. Two inches deep. 14 millimeters needle. Hmm. 1.2 millimeters. That's pretty decently sized needle. Um, let's do tech scan. The size and shape of the needle are consistent with the puncture wound. Yeah. Custom unregistered pre war. I've seen a lot of that in here. We got a match. So you Compass. call. The dead man in Adam's apartment. Oh, is that the neural implants untouched? Oh, yep, that is Helena. Twenty fifty-five junior programmer. No criminal record. Yep, deceased. Um, I, I feel like we're about to start another. Uplink wireless pedal. Oh, for the tattoo. Yeah, I'm gonna take a quick look around first. Consider the seed from which you sprang. You were not made to live like brutes, but to pursue virtue and knowledge. We are all, as humans, prone to justify our behavior. To not admit our wrongdoings and insist that we are in the right. A plus mild coagulation. They could not fathom that progress demands sacrifice. Oh, you sound a little cultish, sure. Sir, sure. Words. Um what's going on here? Can I actually like move this shit around? Whoa, okay. What is this? Um, oh, I can turn it. Is there like actually something I can look at with all of this? I don't know. All right, I, uh, I guess, unless I can open this. No, I'm probably gonna have to extract a key code from her, aren't I? All right, well, <clears throat> in we go, everyone. Attempting a necroneural connection is in direct violation of the Postmortem Observation Act of 2061. Authorization denied. Wow, Emergency that's cool. Override. Open maintenance panel. Jesus.
Well, this isn't going to be a happy adventure, is it? Sorry, Helena. Oh, you got scratched all shit, didn't you? This better be worth it. Oh, goodness. I can't actually look around right now. Okay, uh, press to start. Chiron job interview number 3351, junior programmer, loading. This is creepy. Welcome, Miss Novak. You are a valuable asset to our company. Your hard work and loyalty are always appreciated. Oh, man. Please relax and answer as truthfully as you can. Do you want your homeland to thrive? Oh, one's actually highlighted. Yes. Do you want to make the world a better place? I guess. Yeah. Do you want to live... Do I want to live without fear? I mean, I guess I don't like answering these. Do you want to establish a productive relationship with Kara? No, not really. Oh, fuck me. Oh. What the fuck? Don't lie to us? Uh, no, I don't want to... Will you cooperate? Press... No, fuck you. X. S. F. No, I have to. O. O. B. E. Y. The Republic is your mother. Chiron is your fa- Oh, fuck me, man. A mother's love is unconditional. A father's pride demands sacrifice. Are you willing to sacrifice? No! Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, Jesus. Work. Productivity. Happiness. You will be happy. You will be productive. You will work towards the greater good. Will you? No! Fuck you! I'm just gonna keep saying no every single time I can, you motherfuckers. Checking answers and analyzing behavioral patterns. Evaluation. Life. Evaluating life choices. Warning. Subject, spouse, criminal record. Mmm. I don't like this. No liability regarding current appointment, point deduction, minor. Warning. Oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh, go fuck yourselves. I worked for fucking giant-ass companies before, too, and I absolutely hate it. Okay, I don't have any of my vision or anything like that. This is very unsettling. I just hope this one's not nearly as long as the last one. Okay. Hi there, chair. Bye there, chair. So, what the hell is going on in this one? I get that we're in Helena's mind this time, and she's been working for Chiron. Oh. Welcome to the cubicle farm, everyone. Wow. This... Yeah, and I... I kind of like these scenes. Because... To me, it indicates that... The person whose mind we're in... Is, is pretty intimately familiar with the location. 
but not with the people in it, that they're all just kind of blank shadows and passers-by. What's going on in here? Oh! Um, it's, okay. Is this a mirror? This fucking slop again. It is a mirror. It's called soup. Now dig in. It's not getting any better. Oh shit. Whoa. So he wasn't in prison when we heard that in the last episode. That was at home. He was criticizing Helena. That's not cool, man. That's not cool at all. Am I supposed to be over here? Oh, are you just gonna come back online again? Uh. What? Where am I? Okay. The layout shifted a little bit. Um. Okay, so. I, th I feel like this is just serving to disorient me a little- Whoa! Hey there, guys! Okay. Okay. Let's... Alright, where are we going? This really is just a maze, isn't it? Alright. I really don't want to be in here anymore. Oh, am I trapped? How do we get out of here? Hello? Oh. Hi there. What? Is that? That looks like a torso. What the fuck is going on here? Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Hey, we're back in the club again. All right. I can get down with this. Snake. Snakey snake, come back. Where are you going? Snake. No. Come back here, sneaky snake. Um... This feels like a completely different place than like, the actual work environment. Um, can I use you? No. All right. I really have no fucking clue. Oh. Oh. oh, go fuck yourself. Hmm. Cool, thanks so much. Um... Okay. Patient card ready to print. Automatic printing time sent to 3.20 a.m. So what... what time is it? Oh. Um... Three... Oh, do I really have to go, like, around the clock? There we go! What a puzzle that was! Who the hell are you? Okay. I'm not sure what significance that holds. Um... We've got clothing in the refrigerator? Cool! Well, moving right along then. Amir, do you remember the night we met? This is all gonna be from her side, isn't it? Ooh. Oh god, okay. That's a mirror. Um Hey 
are you? Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at that. We've got our nice blue sky in a little box on the TV. Oh, this is actually the apartment that we were in. Amir was sitting right there. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, oh, Jesus. I'm home. This... This is not painting a good picture of their relationship. She was not happy in all this. Does she see him as, like, some dirty clothes producing pile of filth? And her entire life is just work and washing his clothes? Oh my god. This is awful. Okay, well, let's go left. Does it matter? Okay. Hello. All right. All right. This is this is really freaking disorienting. Okay. Okay. Let's just let's keep on. Oh no! This again. Mm. No. 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 Jesus. Well, I don't know if I read that correctly, but it kind of feels like it. All right, what's going on here? Am I supposed to go this way or this way? Um, I want to explore both directions. Wait your turn. Oh God! No, no, don't just. What's my number? Hello? Patient to register something. I, I don't speak Polish. Oh, let me out. Let me out. What number did you give me? Eight hundred and ninety six. What? Oh, God. Oh, I don't like this. I'm just waiting in line. So are we seeing a doctor, or...? This... Looks like a high-risk psychiatric ward. Hey there, kiddo. What's up? Is... is mom gonna be alright? She's... Sick. This is me again. Let's have a little faith. We're bleeding into it again. Yeah, that was a young Leon. Or Adam. They're the same person, so... Hi, Not honey. Sure Not sure. D didn't you hear? This, this is great news. Let's take some more time to think about it. What is there to think about? You should be happy. Who says I'm not happy? What the hell are you, like, talking in reference to? What were you sick with? Did we get good news? You're obviously not in my life anymore from what we've seen so far in the game. Oh, what is this? Oh. 
my chance? To what? Say goodbye to her? I'm assuming she's dead. Now we're in... What looks to be... An automated... Operation... Room? There's a lot of, like, Adam and Eve's... Um... Uh, symbolism going on right now. That snake, and now we're coming in here to a fucking apple? Yep. Yeah. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a CT-72 internal data storage. I've given you an accelerant to make the tissue heal faster and just keep that dressing on for the next couple of days. Oh. Are you, uh, are you sure they won't find it? Oh. a scrambler in a shielded frame. No external scanning equipment can penetrate it. It's ghostware. I get it now. Unless you know exactly where to look. So, the symbolism with the apple and the snake makes it look like they're inferring that the original sin was like merging man and machine, maybe. Because as soon as I picked up the apple, the the snake fucking bit me. But it looks like Helena was the one writing those emails about being paranoid and the other ones that were like referencing her is she here to fucking steal something from Chiron and via this implant that I just got huh what is this oh that was cool do to yourself what are we talking about hun I'm just it's about time someone around here shows turned my world upside down. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, you don't know. Ooh, this was not a happy relationship, was it? Where are we going? We're kind of in the upside down right now. Are you going this way? What? Tell me, tell me again how useless I am. How I can't keep a job because no one will hire a fucking junkie ex-con. Amir. Do you even know what you're getting into? You know, when I have to support both of us, honey, I'm gonna have to start doing some shady shit to make a little bit of extra it's money. I have a choice. <laughs> wow, I didn't think I'd be that spot on. <laughs> takes. Yeah, I mean, girls gotta do what? A... Girls gotta do? What the fuck? Mark my words, that shit is gonna be the death of us. Is that what was in the bathtub? Oh, here I am. Oh, goodness. We got the info, didn't we? This is what we, what we needed. This is what I got that fucking implant for. What is that? Man, it's really hard to tell what's just like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's really hard to tell what's just like random sound effects and what's actually supposed to signify something happening. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're looking over here. I can't get around you right now. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just coming right over here. 
don't... I didn't think there was actually gonna be sections like this in this! I'm actually, like, leaning around <laughs> to see if I can see around the fucking corner. Okay, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is fine. This is good. We're making progress. I don't- I don't want to look behind me. Nope, nope, nope. Whoa! 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 Okay, no! Did you already see me? What's going on? Oh, hi there! Hi, 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 hi! Um... Let's just mosey on around this side. Okay, 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 cool. Perfect. This is good. This is not good. Hi there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Yeah, you just- you keep on keeping on, friend. Now, where the hell are we going? I just really hope he doesn't decide to take a loop around this side. Where are you? There you are. Uh-oh. Um... Where's your light? Your light's right there? Uh-oh. Just... Did you just- oh, fuck! Oh, fuck me! This guy's hard to keep track of! I don't know if I need to stay crouched, but I don't want to figure out if I can't be. You know what I mean? All right, we're going for it. We're going for it. This is this is good. I'm assuming we're moving towards the light. So that's classic developer trick, right? Draws your attention to the correct space so you can actually progress in the right direction. Oh, subtle player direction clues. I love game design. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> How's that for a coping mechanism, motherfucker? Um... Where are we going now? Mr. Tentacle over there looks like something interesting. Hello? What are you? Oh, is this the computer that we downloaded from? Oh, we've got more information. Yeah. Oh no. I don't know how good you are at tracking or seeing me. Did you just see me? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you're right there. You're right there. I feel like I should just be following really close to you. Mm. Okay, there you are. Do we only need to get the one more piece of data? Friendo, friendo, hi there, friendo. <laughs> ooh, 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 man. Okay. Um... Yeah, like, sound effects like that, I never know if they're, like, actually significant or something. Oh, I hear you. You're right around here somewhere. Where are you? There you are. Alright. We just have to get, like, one more cubicle over. But he's right f fucking there. Oh, I don't have any, like, lean out or anything to be able to, like, check where the fuck he is. Oh, where is he? I don't see him. He sounds like he's in this direction. Um. Alright. What? There he is. Okay. Huh. Okay, good, 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 good. We got another one. How many are there left? Okay, Hugh's right there. Is there another one I need? Oh, fuck me! Did he see me? Did he see- I don't think so? Okay, there you are. 
this this has to be some sort of representation of like what she was feeling when she was trying to steal the f fucking data. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, are we just are we trying to get out of here now? I don't know if there's another computer. Yeah, there's fucking eyes everywhere. Let's just Oh, there it is. Alright, he's way the F over there, though. If I just... Yeah, if I just mosey on over here, I feel like we should be good. And this last one... Okay. It's... Yeah, there's not more than one of them or anything. This does have me... Oh, paranoid as all hell, though. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine. Don't you dare worry about it. All right. Oh? Um... That's a cool effect. Let's, let's get out of here. Oh, why do I feel like something bad's gonna happen here? Hmm? Oh, 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 hi there. Yes. Oh, get me out of there. Ooh, okay. Okay. What? Oh. Um. Hi there. Okay. This all looks like surveillance tech. Maybe? I don't know if these are all referential to something. Okay, um, 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 We're not just back in the apartment, are we? This isn't the same apartment. We can tell that much. Um... Oh, it's the same fucking faucets as last time. Why do I feel like the snake's gonna pop out at me? Uh, okay. This is fine. This is all totally fine. Okay. Alright, well. Thing. What the fuck was that? Can I... Can I go now? Please. Let me out. Oh, wow. This is like that time I took mushrooms. Or the... Walls were actually breathing. Whoa, okay. That's cool. Can I leave now? No? Alright. Hi there. Take me away. Take me away. No? Okay. Um, what? Do I pull the plug? Alrighty. This is happening. Um. Are you my light source? What? Can I take you with me now? This is kind of cool. I kind of like this. Okay, so we're like... The light is like shining away the distortion. Cool. Come on, light. Let's go. I got my little sick kid that is my light bulb. I'm cool with this. Um, where are we going? Do I even need to plug this one in? Yes, I do. Kiddo, where'd you go? I'm sorry. Alrighty, and we can pop this bad boy open. I th Come on. 
Why can't I open you? Come on, kiddo. Okay, so the door closes again if we do that. What are we trying to do then? Isn't that... The door we came through? That's some pretty astounding effects. I really like that. So, what, if I leave the light off of it for long enough? Yeah, I can't, like, actually go through this. Oh, because it's, it's, like, locked from that side. Okay, so can I go into this if there's no light on it? I can. And then I can pull this off. And then I can come back out here. Because we can't go through that one with the light. Oh, I need to leave that plugged in. Open it. And then go back over. Okay. Perfect. Alright, come on, kiddo. Come on. Okay, so where are we going now? It's weird that this is becoming like a puzzle game now. Um... I feel like I'm not supposed to be over on this side. Okay. Moving on then. This is creepy. It is. But I worry that the game is getting too, like, weird shit in your face for the sake of weird shit in your face. You know what I mean? In... In the last memory extraction, it felt more along the lines of... Can I plug you in here? There we go. What does this open? Button? Okay. Yeah, in, in the last memory extraction, it... It felt a lot more... Everything really had a place. Everything was kind of symbolic of something else that was going on. But in this one, it, it feels a little bit more like things are just happening to happen. And that's okay. I get that we're inside the mind of a woman who's been dead for an hour, as opposed to a guy who was dying. But... <sighs> Like, that stuff, I think, has significance. Like, we feel like we're being watched. We just stole information from one of the most powerful companies on Earth. And here we are doing it again. We feel like we're being watched. We feel like we're in danger. And the stuff at the beginning felt like it had some stuff going on as well. Oh, what's up, kid? You back? Because it was it was speaking to the life of Novak, of the Novaks. This is where we found the corpse earlier. And looks like we got all of it. So what is all of this? We were carrying around the information like a baby or something. It's probably best if you don't know exactly. It's not anything nasty, is it? Like a virus or some top secret weapon type shit? No. Nothing like that. What then? I mean, what could possibly be worth the risk? Yeah, what a... Okay. Okay... Now we're just in a... Oh, that's a nice touch. Looks like they're made out of, like, SATA cables or something. That's kind of cool. But they're definitely supposed to be, like, corn. So were we just moving towards the light? What? What's going on? Why can't I move? Hello? 
What the fuck? Why can't I move? Okay. Um, I'd like control back now. Yeah, let's let's just move right along. Um, I I think we're moving towards the light, right? So, what's the detection radius on these things? Is everything just gonna be fine and dandy? I feel like if the light shines on me, it doesn't matter whether or not I'm hiding or not, so I might as well just move. Okay. This is cool. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Everything is fine. Oh god, oh god, oh god, everything is not fine. Things are not fine. Oh, just let me to the light. Let me to the light. Let me, 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 let me. Please, 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 please. Okay, that one's not as close as I thought it would be. That one's really close. Alright. Mmm. Nope, 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 nope. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh fuck, we were so close. Okay. Round two. What? What? What the fuck? Okay, so they can just come up from behind me. I'm not sure how much I like this section. Um, because I don't know if they can hear me pretty obvious that they can see me, but again, I also don't know how far away they are when they see me. Well, this fucker's coming right for me! Fuck off! Fuck you, motherfucker! Fuck you, motherfucker! Eh, eh, okay, there we go. Goodbye, world. Oh. Oh! If I hadn't have moved, would I have been okay? Interesting. Alright, you're coming for me. Uh-oh. Oh, that's why she got freaked out when we were in the open area. Alright, and drop. Are we okay? God, they're fucking everywhere. This is fine. This is fine. If we don't move, we'll be fine. We are undetectable. We are the knight. Oop. Okay, cool. Um, now this... F I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, so there are some, like, little built-in indicators of how visible you are. Alright. I don't hate this as much anymore. Cool. Oh, we're right here. We're right here. We're right here. Did we get it? We got it. I don't think I can do this anymore. I think they're on to We're me. getting paranoid. We're getting we're very paranoid. Yep. <laughs> on to you. You don't get it. Every time I go in there, it's like they're all watching. Yesterday, this executive creep gave me this look like I, I could just... I mean, you're knew. you're just projecting your suspicion of yourself Maybe they're just onto other people. With our heads. And what purpose would that serve? I don't know. To get their fucking sadistic load off. That's not how they operate. You're freaking Trust out. Trust me. I was with the corporation long enough. You're just freaking out. Trust me, I've cheated on tests before. I know what it's like. I know what it feels like. <laughs> Whoa, that is a cool effect. That's like the uh, the looking glass from Prey. That's really cool. Okay, um, this is fine. Are we done with like monsters and chase scenes and all of that? That'd be really cool if we were. Um, I'd like to go back to being Officer Daniel Levinsky? 
Something along those lines. Lazarski. That's not normal. Oh man, this visual effects team is talented. I just wish it wasn't so fucking in your face all the time. Okay, all uh, right, there we go. And we're working our way out. Now, what are we doing? Where are we going? What does this represent? Everything is transparent. You can see through all of it. Um... Hi there. No? Um... Where, where, where we go In this fucked up mind Merrily, 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 merrily I would like to find where, where, where to go In this fucked up place I think I found it, it's right here Let's go through the door Oh, we're- Yeah! We're gonna see the fucking monster again! Oh, cool! What the hell are you? Get out of here! Run! Get help! Oh, that was loud. That was really loud. Okay, we are moving real fast now. That's cool. All right. On we go. On we go. This is fine. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, okay. Um. Jesus Christ. All right. Um. Oh, oh God. I can't, I can't see. I can't see anything. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. And I, I can never tell, like, when I'm in control and what I'm not. Wow. Okay, there's the tattoo shop. What's up, pigeon? Okay. This is fine. This is all fine and dandy. Hi there, chair. What's up? It didn't have to be this way. <laughs> this is fun. I kind of like this one. Three six one five. Cool. That's what we were here for. Oh, it got her too. Cool. Yes, please. Oh, that is a really, really shrill noise. Perfect. Um, can I, can I do it myself? There we go. Perfect. Boop. Please and thank you. Okay, so... I forgot the code. Um, what was it? The tattoo parlor, find the hidden passage. 3615. Yeah, there was a lot going on in there. Middle mouse button. 3615. Oh, you're just gonna say it. 3615. Perfect. Alrighty. I think that is a good place to leave this episode. It's just right about on the hour. Oh, wow. I think that section was even longer than the last one. I feel like I was in there for like 40 fucking minutes. And... Yeah. I don't know. In, in some cases, it, it did feel like it was a little overblown for what it was trying to get across. And... 
And can I have just like a fucking moment of silence? Case log updated. Cool. Um, some of it was very symbolic and representative of what was going on with her home life, with her her stress and uh, keeping the family afloat, with the decisions that she had to make in order to do so, and uh, the the repercussions of what she did in order to try and keep the family afloat. And that's cool. It's really cool seeing like super distorted um, symbolism of what's what was going through her head, especially the fact that she was already dead when we started that sink. In terms of gameplay, I don't think it was the most compelling thing that they could have done for it. That last section was a lot of fun. It was. I, I had a really good time with like the last five to ten minutes of it, but I think it could have sufficed with maybe like a f a ten minute build up to that and then like a two minute climax before we come out. And I, I'm not entirely sure how long the game is. I think it's like six to eight hours in total, which is why I'm doing hour long episodes for it. But it seems like some of the stuff that's going on in there is a bit of padding. And it's not bad padding. It, there's a ton of stuff going on in it. The richness in the visual detail and the effects and how everything works together, it makes for a really, really compelling, interesting, and fun, somewhat terrifying experience. But since we know that we're going to be able to reset really easily and I don't think that this game has any like true fail states in it, it there's not a ton of fear on my end there there were a lot of jump scares in that one especially in that one apartment scene which if you know me you know I'm not a fan of jump scares not because they scare the shit out of me quite the opposite I don't think they're effective and they're overused in the horror genre. Still, I find this to be really, really interesting, and I am so excited to play more of it. It's got a lot going on for it, and these are some talented developers. It seems like at times the resources are going to the wrong places, but overall this is really fucking cool. This, like, monster horror mixed with, like, super super dystopian cyberpunk. I absolutely love it. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. I want to know what you guys are thinking of this and how many of you actually made it to the end of the episode. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire and I will see you next time.